all rights. Benito Mussolini said fascism should more appropriately be called corporatism because it is a merger of state and corporate power. Meet BlackRock and Vanguard. It is said that BlackRock and Vanguard own the world, and hence they own our governments. Bloomberg reports that they are on a race to $20 trillion in portfolio holdings. More importantly, they are the owners and controllers of the big pharma industry. And even more importantly than that, BlackRock and Vanguard own the world's mainstream media. In other words, Big Pharma owns the mainstream media. The same mainstream media that is now telling us. Despite cold snow dwelling Inuit women having the same average lifespan of 83 years like everyone else, winter vaginas now suddenly cause heart attacks at a young age and cold weather can damage your health. You'd better run out and get your winter vagina twatero flow kit test <laughs> in case you are at risk. Despite intermittent fasting being the biggest proven health benefit of all time, now suddenly skipping breakfast causes heart attacks. But if you don't skip breakfast, suddenly the world's most popular breakfast food, eggs, enhances your risk of blood clots. A general practitioner on the television warns us that right as energy bill prices are doubling, this may cause heart attacks and strokes. They tell us these energy bill rises could even cause ill health in our children because we all have our children open up our energy bills and then ask them how they are going to pay for it with no job. They tell us that suddenly breathing the only sure way to stay alive and the staple of ancient Vedic, Yogic and Taoist longevity practices could raise your risk of a deadly heart attack, so don't breathe too much. In fact, if someone you know is having a heart attack, be sure to tell them, whatever you do, don't breathe, it will only make things worse. Did you know that despite being forced to do so every year, moving your clocks forward an hour in the spring is suddenly dangerous to millions of Brits with heart problems? Hopefully moving them backwards in the fall is the proven medical cure. Not just the mainstream media, but Harvard suddenly wants to remind us that marijuana is said to trigger heart attacks. Remember in the 1970s? when American teens all smoked more weed than Cheech and Chong and all dropped dead of strokes and heart attacks? Me neither, but cool story, bro. Women now suddenly have heart attacks over using sex toys and vibrators. Sorry guys, you may have given her a few orgasms, but when's the last time you banged her so good you gave her a heart attack? You need to step up your game. Unnamed scientists on ITV News are now suddenly warning that shaking your duvet cover while making your bed can increase your chances of a heart attack. Because though the heart can easily handle running a marathon, riding the Tour de France, or competing in an Ironman, even climbing Mount Everest, the stress of softly shaking something that weighs as much as two pillows is the final breaking point of human physical exertion. Christmas Eve now increases your risk of heart attack by 37%, putting a huge strain on our hearts, probably from all of the joy from giving and loving. Shoveling snow, heart attack, and sudden death. Eating lots of heart-healthy vegetables no longer reduces your risk of heart attack or stroke. Even though you've never heard of it, Governments are suddenly spending money on bus posters to remind us that kids have strokes too. Totally normal. We are now regularly seeing sports games stopped as fans collapse in the stadium and get dragged out by paramedics. And you can hardly watch a sports game these days without the game being paused as an athlete collapses on the ground, clutching at their chest. Luckily, the Irish Examiner tells us for the first time in sports history, referee whistles may be caused to sudden increase in heart problems among sports players. Not only that, 
but referee whistles may also be causing incidents in sports fans attending games, like this fan, who collapsed all the way up in the upper top deck of the Graham Taylor stand. That's one hell of a whistle. It's amazing it didn't liquefy the hundreds of people in its path. But they assure us all of these incidents are non-vaccine related, so the public has been urged to ignore misinformation recently circulating on social media platforms, but rather believe in a ludicrous claim that referee whistles suddenly cause strokes and heart attacks after 160 years of regular use with no problems. What is even more unbelievable than that excuse is that the general public and mainstream media keep asking the question, why are so many athletes inexplicably collapsing? As if they can't recognize the blatantly obvious. So let's lay it out in black and white to clear up the confusion once and for all. 